There was a story published by Kevin Cook, our friend Kevin Cook at the Houston Chronicle, Mm -hmm. about referees. And particularly that TASO, TASO, the Texas Association of Sports Officials, has a deficit of new referees. And it's a, he, they phrase it as crisis level. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to read directly from the story on the, on the uh, Chronicle. Um, let's see. The Houston is hit particularly hard. The Houston Tasso chapter is largest in the state by a far, fairly wide margin, but the area, uh, but the area the chapter is required to cover is absurdly large. And with high schools and middle schools opening, they need many more referees to step up and play. He writes another story later on, on, on July 10th about this, about how they need, they are between 50 and 200 officials short for the 2017 football season. That's just in Houston. Now, Houston's a huge area, and I don't want to overblow this. I want to I wanna approach this from a very kind of calm perspective. But the bottom line is that this is a problem everywhere in the state. Yep. And there are number, there are severe lack, severe shortages of officials everywhere in the state. So first of all, let's talk about what that means, mm. right? Let's talk about what that means. We even saw this come to fruition and and have real lasting impacts in the playoffs last year, mm-hmm. because you would see teams. Let me back up. So the way that the way that games work generally, especially in the playoffs, yes, the two coaches come together and they agree on which uh, officiating crew they want to use. And coaches have officiating crews that they like. Right. Make no mistake, coaches are keeping track of who the officials are. They don't leave that to chance, okay? They want good officials, guys who they think are good, or know what they're doing, competent officials Mm -hmm. and they want ones that they know what they're going to get right that's i think that's fair so they keep track of it and they come together and they agree on which officials they want to have for a playoff game well let's say that tepper high school and max high school are playing each other okay first of all tepper's gonna roll but in any case we would come together thinking that buddy we would come together as the head coaches, and we would say, "Okay, let's go. Let's go get this these guys from the Fort Worth chapter, yep. right of the of Tasso. Yep. Really let's, like those guys. Let's go get you them. like them. I like them. We're playing yep. Friday night. Let's go and let's get them. Yep. They say, "Oh, well, we're actually spoken for. Yep. Okay, that's fine. fine that's fine. fine. You know, we've already got a yeah. game. Uh, we like the guys. Go, let's go get the second guys. Yeah, the second guys yeah. on the list. Oh, well, we're taking two. Yep. This goes on and on and on to the point that we would simply say." Why don't we play Saturday? Yeah. Why don't we just move the game? Why don't yeah. we just say, you know what, yeah. we really want these officials. Yeah. We think we both think it's important that we get these officials. Let's move the game to Saturday. Yeah. The bottom line of it is that this is a severe problem for Texas high school football at large. We had a segment uh, last week or two weeks ago about like, oh, like the death of football in Texas and like how will dipping participation numbers right. uh, affect football in Texas? Is Texas immune to this? Here is we can argue for sure about that, about whether the concussion issue, about whether uh, you know player safety is a threat to Texas high school football. That is an argument we're willing to have. Here is something that is cut and dry. If there are no officials, there will not be a game. And that is a severe threat to Texas high school football at large. Period. It's, it is something that can very directly and severely impact Texas high school football. Now, why is there a shortage of officials? First of all, I think there's a couple of things. First of all, I think people don't know that they need officials, right? I feel right. like that there is a... I think we just go to the game and we just, we're excited about the game and we don't even think about the fact that officials are needed. Officials are... They'll just be there. If you talk to officials, and, yeah. and, 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 and you know, I've talked to officials before, their goal is to show up and not be noticed. Right. 
That's they done do a great not, job. They, right. they want everyone to leave the game and forget they were even there. Right. Right? And so I think it's the kind of thing that, like, we look at the game and we say, oh, okay, well, the game went on. We, we don't see them. And, and it's kind of out of sight, out of mind. But I think it's important to, for us to talk about this because mm-hmm. it's important to say, yeah, there actually do need to be guys who are officials. Mm-hmm. We need that to happen. I think the other thing is that, I mean, let's address an elephant in the room, right? Officials get a really bad rap. Oh, for sure. Yeah. If you were to poll and say, what are your opinion on referees? Yeah, they're just people are just 90%. God, I love them. They oh, just yeah. Get everything right. Everybody loves they officials, They get everything right? right. They're like, you would hear, oh, my God, officials are idiots. But here's the thing about that. We only notice when they do something wrong. Right. Right? We only notice when they get a bad call. Completely unfair. If, if you and I were only, no, like only judged on the things we got wrong, mm-hmm. do you realize what a terrible existence that would be for us? We I get mean, told about it plenty, and it's already a pretty terrible it's already, existence yeah. when it happens. We get, like, yeah. If you read our Twitter feeds, it is like... Yeah. We get a lot of people who are saying, oh my gosh, this is wrong, or this is wrong, or yeah. you got this wrong. Yeah. But that's also balanced out by people saying, hey, really love the magazine, or hey, right. that's a great article. Yeah. Like, it's balanced out. Referees don't get that. When a referee makes a great holding call, like the right call, nobody's like, great call. Yeah. Great call. Yeah. Nobody's yeah. like that. Yeah. Well, not they universally, get, anyway. Not universally. Yeah. That, they get a bad rap, and why would you sign up to go to get yelled at on a Friday night, right? To get yelled at on a Friday yeah. night. Well, you wouldn't. Yeah. You wouldn't. And I understand that. So I think this is a give and take, okay? On one hand, we do need people to step up to the plate and say, you know what? I want to be an official. And let me tell you, you talk to people at Tasso, they love being officials. Yeah. They think it's fun. It is a fun way to stay involved in football. It's a fun way to be involved in the game mm-hmm. and to work in sports. We hear all the time, how can I work in sports? How can I get your job, right? right? Here's a way, right now, they will hire you yeah. to work in sports, make a little extra scratch. Yeah. You're not going to get rich. I'll yeah. be honest, you're not going to get rich. Right. But you can make a little extra scratch and, and you know, have a role in something, in, in a tradition like Texas high school football, Yeah, right? You can do that. So that's part of it. We do need people to step up to the plate. The other side of it comes from all of us. Mm -hmm. Okay? We have kind of accepted in our culture that it is okay to just scream at referees. Yeah. Like, they're not people, right? Yeah. If they screw up or or we think they make a bad call, it's we just want to rip them. Yeah. Right? I think this is an important moment... For all of us to say, you know what? These dudes are out here trying their best. I'll, I'll bring up a point. When it was the Mineola Yokum game last mm-hmm. year, you remember the kind of controversial fumble yes. call that right. Yokum took back for a right. touchdown. Right. And like people were saying, oh, such a terrible call. Yeah. Change the game. Change the game. Oh my gosh. It didn't change the game. It didn't change the game at all. That Even Yokum's Bo Robinson right admit that it didn't change the game. That was it. Anyway. I tweeted something along the lines of, hey, being, you know, being an official is easy. Just ask, just yeah. ask, just ask the, you know, just ask the crowd. Just ask Twitter, right? right. And I had, I'll admit, I had, like, referees retweet me and say, dude, thank you for saying that. Right. It's right. hard. Yeah. It's hard to be a referee. Yeah. And I feel like we all need to take a step back. Look. Take a step back and remember that these are dudes who are helping us enjoy the sport we love. Yeah, that's the biggest point. It really is. And and their reward is a lot of people telling them they suck. Tell them they suck, and yeah, I mean, that's that's their reward. It is really important for all of us to take a step back and say, hey, by the way, like, yeah, they might have they might have missed that holding call. Yeah. And you might be real steamed about it. But you know what? You know what's worse than him missing that holding call? Them not being there and the game not happening. Yeah. And I think this is an important moment where if you're asking what you can do to help the referee shortage, start there. You can start in your own heart. Yeah. You can start with your own voice and say, you know what? I'm going to chill out at games. Yeah. 
and I'm not going to scream at referees because here's what's happening is that there are potential referees sitting next to you in the stands. And whereas they're thinking, oh, I'm, I think being a referee might be cool. Instead, they're going to be like, why would I go down there and get yelled at by this idiot? The, I, I think that it is a give and take that we all have a role to play in this. I hate it when my favorite team gets a call against them. I hate it. You do too. It happens to Liverpool, right? Where no, you, they'll have a never. yellow card and you'll be like, never. never. <laughs> they'll have a yellow card. You'll be like, oh my God, what are you doing? Yeah. But it is important for all of us if we all truly love Texas high school football to play a part in this in encouraging people to become referees because it is a legitimate threat to our to our favorite sport. There you go. That's my rant. I'm sorry. I had to get that off my chest. No, I think it was worth it.